What's up all my money makers, my honey boo bears, and my cousins, my cousins. So, all right, let's try to nip some things in the bud here on today. Because I do be, uh, believe that I have the facts that can lay this to rest, whether this is Irene in this live or if this is Jalen Ford. Now, a lot of people really believe that this is Jalen Ford. Because a lot of people believe, you know, it was a reenactment, so on and so forth. So we're going to discuss all that later in the video. Now, I'm going to be pointing out some things in comparison to the two people in question. And, you know, it's going to either be 100% you're with me or 100% that no, you're not. But I, I really want to say I can guarantee you that you're going to be 100% with me if you stick around to the end of this video and we just walk through everything. Okay? So, now, how did this even start? How did Jalen Ford being the one playing... Irene even emerge in this case. So, here's how it happened. Soon after the party, there was an accident. You know, the one by the Catholic Church. And one um, was killed. And basically two were injured. Now, the deceased person wound up being Eugenia Walker. Now, we're going to go through all this so everybody will understand what was going on at the time in 2017. Because it, there are some people that are just now coming to this case after the fact. And especially since the whole MTV thing. So, uh, the deceased person was Eugenia Walker. And it was said that Eugenia Walker was at the party. Okay? So... So we also know now um, the un unidentified person. There was Mano. Uh, I think it's like Kishad Humphreys or whatever. But anyway, he was Eugenia Walker's like best friend. Now he is also the one that bought the rooms with T at the Crown Plaza and at the Double Tree. And so, he was the unidentified person that was supposed to have his spine broke. Okay? So, there we have two people that one for sure we know was involved in the whole Kanika thing. And that's the Mano guy because he was with the girl when the rooms were purchased. So, we know that he was in involved in that case and then you have eugenia walker who um was said to be at the party and you know so on and so far got killed after the fact now like i said when this came out i i really and truly believe that it was like they were saying they was coming from the party and had the wreck but then after the story you know just or surfacing days later it was saying that it was like a day or whatever later I, uh, you know like on the 11th or whatever and you know to me I'm still questioning my I'm, I'm questioning myself and I'm scratching my head like I really need to find you know the screenshots from back then that I took but anyway moving on so now you have um Jalen Ford, right? And his mugshot picture comes up. And y'all, let me say something like, um, T, the Shaniqua, is it Shaniqua Watkins or whatever? Like, she is still MIA from what I understand. I don't, I don't think people really know where she is. So, we're going to work on that a little bit more. Um, if y'all have any information y'all want to send me then. You know, just holler at your girl. But uh, uh, back to Jalen Ford. So now we have Jalen Ford's mugshot and everything emerge. And his hair 
and facial structure is similar to Irene's granted now they were saying that you know that was pretty much who was in the live and you'll just have to go find the videos of when people were trying to compare the two and saying that it was you know um so now here's like when things get real kind of iffy in this case because now it's like a lot of people are so like this is a reenactment that's not irene this is this person da -da 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 -da. things go crazy so let's look at some things here so we can try to clear all this up and like i said at the end of this video you're either gonna know that that guy played irene in their live or you're gonna know that he didn't point blank period so okay first but we're gonna start with this slide because this is the one everyone thinks to be you know the lookalike um you know they don't think that this is irene in this because irene don't look like she looked in the car nor in the previous live that she also done in the room you know whatever now, mind you, Irene said this is when the party was dry. So, I always question, like, how did her hair go from being laid in the shade to looking like this? I asked in a video, was she also assaulted? And I was saying either she had been fighting or she had been fucking. Simple. Because if this is the beginning of the party, I don't understand why your hair looking like this and it's... You know, nobody in here, y'all ain't been bopping, as you call it, you know, whatever. But if you got there early and you got you some birthday sex, then, hey, we all understand. So, I was trying to figure that out. So, I'm like, okay, I'm still trying to figure out what happened here. So, in the midst of me trying to figure out that out, like, uh, YouTube just went so damn fast and just ruled that out being Irene all together. Like, so, now... It's Irene live, but everybody's saying, well, that's not Irene, that's Jalen. And, I mean, everybody's just stuck with it. That's what they believe. They don't believe that's Irene, you know, to each his own. But, let's take a look at Jalen, okay? Because we've all seen this live of Irene's, like, a billion times. But I'm not sure if people has really just sat down and looked at what this Jalen guy looks at. So, let's look at a couple of clips from him. And while doing so, I'll be pointing out some things, okay? So, first thing that I notice is the mouth area, okay? So, looking in the mouth area, we got a lot of things going on in the mouth area. For one, it looks like he has braces. Now, mind you, these are 2017 videos because he's supposed to be in, in jail since then. So, at the time, he would have had braces, now, another thing, he has this lip piercing, okay? On top of that, the tip of the tongue is also pierced, okay? So, these are three things that we did not see in that video from Irene's live. So, people can say, well, okay, um, well, they took the piercings off. Okay, that's cool with me, but if this person has braces, then, like, where did they go? You know? Okay, and then if someone wants to argue, well, look at Irene T. They look straight. They look like maybe just got the braces removed. Cool. You can have that, but I'm going to tell you you're wrong, Okay? that's that's not even the case but just to know i have weighed out all of the options so i'm ready for whatever you try to come at me with in the comments so let's not even go that far because no okay so we know braces we know lip pierce we know tongue pierce all right let's move down to something else let's look at the body part now in irene's live um, when her hair was kimped and she was laying on the bed, you could see Irene's stomach. 
Okay, Irene has a stomach of a um, childbearing stomach. Okay, Irene has the little scratch marks, and you know it's chubby, it's meat, it's thickness there. You know, um, one thing I need to point out is Irene has a inner belly button. Now let's look at Jalem's. Jalem has a outer which he probably need to go get checked to see if he have a hernia or something because there's usually signs of a hernia in the stomach area but anyway that's for you to look up so he has the Audi uh belly button thing going on here as you can see you know that cannot be changed now, unless he went and had a hernia repair and went through the recovery stage right before this party, he would have still had an Audi. Okay? So, now let's look at the stomach area. He also has a tattoo on his stomach, like the Lifeline tattoo or whatever have you. So, Irene doesn't have that. Like I said before, Irene is a lot thicker than this guy because when Irene sits down, like any other not going to the gym three times a day woman that had a child, when they sit down, they're going to get that little pooch, you know, from the stomach. You know what I'm saying? When he sit down, she, his shit is flat. You know what I'm saying? He is a very slender person. Let's look at the boobs. You can tell these are natural boobs. These are women boobs. Okay, in the live from Irene. His ain't even like that. Like when you look in live from Irene, you see meat to chest connection. You see titty meat hanging. You see titty tissues. Here, none of that. Okay? None of that. Um, another thing, it looks like, um, well, at the same time, if you listen to how he talk versus how Irene talk, even if he was trying. trying to play, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. The, even the voices are different. When she really listened to him. And then the main thing, the main thing that sold it for me when I really zoomed in and paid attention is he has a, a dermal piercing in the throat. And if you look on the live, Irene doesn't have that. There's not even a marking where there has been a dermal, a dermal piercing removal in the throat of Irene on that live, okay? And if you look here in the mugshot picture, you can see that the dermal piercing is still there. It looks like maybe the lip piercing has been removed, but the dermal piercing is still there because that piercing does require a little bit of a surgical procedure which is going to be a whole nother video all in itself so i think that the verdict can say that this is in fact not Jalen ford in this live video and i rule that that would be irene Okay, so I hope that I've presented you with enough facts and details to just lay that to rest once and for all that that is not Jalen Ford in that live. That is Irene. Okay, unless you got another female that we can compare, but that's a woman in that video. And I do feel like, my opinion, that that's Irene based on the facts that I gave you in comparison to Jalen Ford, which is the person in question, you know, in this video. So, I hope that helps.
I hope that's that's one thing that we can say is solved in this case. But what did Irene mean by they swapped her out in those videos? Well, hey, look, I'm going to need for you to hit that subscribe button so you can hit that bell so you can get notifications for future videos when we will discuss that. I will see you all in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. This is your girl, Money Stacks, and I'm signing out. Smooches. Peace.